In this session, we're going to create a form component so that user can create a new product. Now let's start by doing another form. We got that. Let's say product form equal react dot create class. And we say render function return. Right. So inside here, let's create a form, which is normal form, and we just uh, make it very simple. Input type equal text, and placeholder equal product name, and we're going to say reference equal name. I'm going to talk more about reference attribute and we're going to add another one and this one should be product price and this one should be price oops I forgot this is close tag all right let's put a break here and then we got a button And the button say create product. Now to make the submit function, let's try to add a submit function here right above the render. So we say submit equal function. Don't forget the commas. And we say first we got E and we say E print dot prevent default and then let's start by saying alert right and we're going to say name plus this dot refs dot name dot value and let's say for the price we'll say this dot Refs dot price dot value, and after that, we just reset the name value equal to blank, and the same thing with the price. Okay, so by looking at these, you now can guess what's that mean in terms of refs yes we're going to use the ref attribute in the input to know exactly where we're going to get the value from so we got this dot ref with s and the name of that attribute which is this one and the value so we're going to get the value of what we type in the input here and similar thing with the price so we got this dot refs dot price dot value all right, so in a button, we need to say on click equal, as you might guess, yes, is submit function. That's one way you can do. I'll, I'll, I'll just show you the other way we can do this. So just cut from this and put it in a form. So in a form, instead of saying on click, you say on submit, All right? We'll do the same thing. So once we're done with the product form component, just add it into our product list component. So in the product list component, let's put it right inside the product list. So we got the product form and don't forget the close tag here. Cool. So now we got the form here. I'll just try to make it a bit nicer. And we just create another break and also create the HR here. All right. Now let's try to put a new product name, say 
Samsung 99 product cool so we just got the value correctly and we just displays nicely awesome in the next session we'll be adding a new product into an array and displaying the whole list of product i'll see you there